What an energy inside the T-Mobile Arena. Thank you all for coming out and joining these incredible athletes for the UFC 276 press conference. Of course, in advance of our pay-per-view Saturday night, UFC 276, Adesanya versus Cannoneer. Sold out Saturday night at T-Mobile Arena. This is the 18th consecutive sellout for the UFC. And of course, as many of you know, UFC 276 set to cap the 10th annual UFC International Fight Week. Can't thank you all enough for coming out. We have 10 athletes at your disposal. Who has the first question? John Morgan, anybody? Where are you at? Way in the back, John. Israel, want to start with you, please. Uh, listen, you've always been really good about observing and studying your opponents and, and getting their energy, and this is the first time that Jared's had a chance to be a part of something like this, big event. So just curious kind of what you've studied and learned from him, from his energy this week so far. Uh, I haven't met him much this week. I only met him once. But I know being under the spotlight is an acquired taste, and I'm used to this. He's mature. He's a, he, I mean, I heard he was like 30 something someone tried to bring that up but i was like it doesn't matter he's a veteran in this game i think he's mature he can handle a spotlight but not like me in israel i'll follow up with you there's been a lot of talk lately about divisional goats you know greatest of all time in certain weight classes you win here this run that you're continuing where do you think you stand on that list of the greatest middleweights of all time i don't really care to be honest i'm just trying to do what i said which is fuck everybody up in this game and he's next Jared, we'll go to you. I know you said that you're trying to, you know, just treat this like any other fight week, but I mean, this is massive. This is a press conference with would be a big crowd for a fight. So I mean, how can you do that in a situation like this and still treat it like it's any other fight week? I'm focused on the task at hand, and when I signed the contract, I didn't sign up to be a part or to take in all this. I, I signed up to take in what he's going to bring on Saturday night. So uh, this is just extra. This is just. Uh, uh, what they call it, white noise, you know, in the, back in the day when, uh, when it was late, the TV shows would turn off and the screen would be like, Shh. so that's what all this extra shit is. I'm focusing purely on performance Saturday night. Nice. And just lastly for you, Jerry, when you look at the run that Israel has had, when you break down his tape and see his victories, do you see more in his talent or mistakes that his other opponents have made? Um... I, see, I just see fights playing out. I don't really uh, want to say I see this or I see that. I see the fight playing out and I take it in as a whole. I don't be like picking out one point or another to focus on and that's going to be the key or, or anything like that. It's, uh, he's good everywhere. You know, he's very good everywhere. He's exceptional everywhere. So it's not just one thing, but um, the fight is, is as it is. You know, it plays out as it plays out. And we all uh, uh, expose ourselves to the, to, the, to the dangers of fighting. So um, I see openings. I see opportunities. I'm not going to say that there are mistakes on either, on, on either uh, party's part, but uh, I see the fight playing out. Here's a question for Alex. Alex, a lot of people are talking about how you and Max are the best of this division now. But do you think the winner of Saturday night is the best featherweight of all time? Man, that's, that's not up to us uh, to decide that. That's up to you guys and, and all that. You know, we ain't going to... I look at, I look at uh, Aldo doing that. <laughs> I look at Aldo as, uh, as a go right now, but yeah, I want to come for all them titles. I know uh, Max is going to turn up. I'm going to turn up and we're going to put on a show. We'll find out. We're going to find out Saturday night, my friend. We're going to find out Saturday night who's going to turn up. Max, you have said that we would be blessed to get more than three rounds this weekend. How do you think you finish this fight? Man, you guys will find out Saturday night talking about three. This guy talking about a three-peat or something, you know? This guy don't even got three highlights in the UFC. Oh, Max came to play. I love it. We came to play, brother. Question for Sean O'Malley back here on the stage. Obviously a big pop you fought on these big cards with some of the bigger names at the top, but standing at the end of the table, Pedro Munoz has fought the best of the best at this division. So what do you bring to the Octagon on Saturday that he has not faced from his past opponents? Yeah, he's fought some of the best guys in the division. Um, no one's been able to put his lights out. That's, I'm going to do that Saturday night, July 2nd. I'm putting Pedro's lights out. And follow up for Pedro. 
like I said, you fought the best of the best in this division. So what do you make of Sean's skill sets and his prediction that he is going to put your lights out on Saturday? You know, definitely. He's, we thought Adal great in every area. But I'm better than him and ready to prove that Saturday night. Then finally, question for Sean Strickland back on stage. This is obviously your first UFC press conference. You said you were kind of having to tell yourself to, you know, be on your best behavior. So I'm wondering, did anyone actually approach you and give you words like, hey, maybe don't say this and that? Bro, the UFC was on topic right from the start. I just want to say something because this is what I'm not the camera view. This is my first press conference. You guys are a bunch of vicious bastards. Man, here's the way you guys talk. I want to go down there and punch all you fuckers in the face. Jesus Christ, you guys are mean. But yeah, no, I, I, need, to, I need to calm down. But yeah, you with the red hat, you're a, you're a bastard, bro. The way you're talking to Jared, that man's gonna come down there and take your head off. But you're a funny guy. Jesus Christ. All right, let's talk about fighting. Right here, uh, for Robbie. Originally, you weren't supposed to be on the main card here. Uh, now you are, you get all this energy. How much do you feed off this, and does this grow your excitement for the fight? I'm always on the main card. No matter where I'm at, where I'm fighting, I'm putting on a show. Fans are going to be excited for me. But it's nice to feed off this, all these champions in here, all these badasses in here. I'm feeding off this. I'm excited. My body's excited. I can't wait. Thank you. And similar question for you, Brian. Uh, first time you've been part of something like this. Uh, what's it like just being on the stage and does this build your energy for Saturday night? Yeah, it's great. You know, I love it. I love the energy. We're going to feed off it. We're going to give the fans exactly what they want on Saturday night and give them that barn burner. Let's go. And just lastly for you, Max, uh, we know you have this incredible streak of never being knocked down in the UFC. Uh, Alex said he's going to you know, aim to bring this to an end. Uh, how concerned are you about his power going into this fight? I know, all week, all I heard was you guys talking about damage. We're talking about damage here. Oh, you guys, damage this, damage that. I'm known for taking damage, and he's known for not giving it, so let's get it. Hey, we're gonna see Saturday night, right? That's the beauty of it. That's why you can't spar anymore, because you're punching the head too much. I can't hear you, I can't hear you. Let him have him, Nine Island, let him have him. Let him have it. Let him hey. have it. Oh, good. I can't hear you to the noise, brother. All day. I can't hear shit. Hey, I love it. I can't that. hear shit, brother. Hey, you can, uh, you can use him as much as you want. Saturday night, it ends for you. That's Saturday it. Saturday night, we get to find out. Saturday night, we get to find out. 2-0, oh, baby. Saturday night, Remember we get that. to find two and out. And oh. Let's go. 2-0, oh, better be free and oh. Let's fucking go. It's Saturday night, baby. Hey, Let's I just want to say, I want to say, booze. Out. The booze, everything, the energy in here, I love it. I'm feeling yeah, it. I love it too, the Bring booze, the yes, let's get it. I love it. Thank you. This question is uh, for Sean Strickland. Sean, this is now the second question you're being asked. Hey, don't get me in trouble, man. Come on. Do you, do you feel a little looser now? Do you feel a little bit better about this whole press conference thing? I mean, I don't fucking know, man. I'm probably the only guy that like shouldn't be here, you know? That's how you know maybe the U.S. needs to recruit a little bit more. You put me up on this fucking stage. But no, nah, man, like, it's all good. I've been doing this shit for a long time. I could, I could shut the, I could, I can shut up and not say the F word. And by the way, America, let me ask you one thing. I could turn on TV right now and watch a dude get fucking popped in the head, but I can't say the F word. Y'all need to fix yourself. Come on now, fix yourself. And this question is for Alex. Alex, yesterday at the media day, Sean was saying that he might have to wrestle you. He might have to take you down, but he also said he's pretty confident that if this fight stays standing, he can hang with you. So I'm curious, do you feel like it is a mistake for Sean Strickland to stand with you on Saturday? Bom, Alex, é... na conferência de ontem, o Sean falou que vai buscar também a parte de grappling, mas se tiver que trocar com você, ele vai trocar. Você acha que é um erro da parte dele tentar segurar a luta de pé? Bom, a gente está falando de MMA, né? Eu também estou treinando muito. O que... da, da forma que ele vir, eu vou estar tá pronto, né? Se ele quiser agarrar, porra, eu tenho as, o meu jogo. Se ele quiser trocar porrada, pô, a gente vai sair na mão. Well, I'm very prepared for this fight, so whatever he brings, I'm ready. If he wanna try, strike, I'm ready. If he wanna grapple, let's do it. 
And Alex, one more for you. Of course, all signs seem to be pointing, and of course, both of you need to win on Saturday, a potential fight between yourself and Israel Adesanya. It seems to be heading in that direction. What's your final message to Israel as he gets ready to attempt to defend his title against Jared Cannonier on Saturday? Bom, é, tudo dando certo no sábado, você vai estar ganhando uma chance de lutar pelo cinturão. Com a, com a luta em potencial com Israel Adesanya. Qual é a sua última mensagem para o Adesanya antes dessa luta dele de sábado? Bom, estou focado na minha luta né, com o Shane Strickland. É, todo mundo sabe, nas minhas entrevistas eu venho sempre falando, venho sempre priorizando isso. Né, porque tem uma luta antes né, de uma disputa de cinturão. Então estou focado nessa luta, mas estou torcendo para o Adesanya. Well, I'm focused on my fight Saturday. I still got the fight to do with Strickland. I'm focused 100% on that fight, but I'm rooting for Israel. And then, Sean, last thing for me. You could potentially fight for the title in your next fight. If you are victorious on Saturday, you could be the guy fighting for the title. So what's your message to both champion and challenger heading into Saturday? I mean, Alex is a big, scary fucking Brazilian. I think we all admit that. You're at ATM and this motherfucker walks in behind you in the middle of the night. You tell me what you're going to be walking away. But now he, he's a tough dude. You know, I, I've trained and I've trained with plenty of, plenty of good kickboxers. I think I can handle it. You know, and after meeting him at a war and I, you know, beat Alex, you're going to see I'm a whole different guy. I'm going to start painting my nails, act like a female. I'm going to be wearing sunglasses inside. You know what I'm saying? This will be different, bro. I'm going to go get me suits. I'm going to get me a nice car. I'm going to trade on my... My 2018 Nissan Frontier, give me a Porsche. Just fucking wait. I'm gonna leave all you guys in behind. I'm gonna be the best champion you've ever seen. Let's go! Oh, oh, and by the way, by the way, as I fill up my 2018 Nissan Frontier, looking for sponsorship Nissan, I just wanna say, let's go, Brandon! Hi there. Uh I'm James McCurney from The Crowd Goes Wild, Sky TV, New Zealand. I've got a question for Jared. Jared, what makes you believe you can beat Israel Adesanya? And are you worried you might end up as cannon fodder? Well, first and foremost, I'm the cannon man. That's, a, that's the whole meaning behind my last name, the cannon man. So look it up. Uh, so I'm not cannon fodder. I'm the one who's going to be uh, blasting, shooting cannon balls. Um, what was the first part of your question? What makes you believe you can beat Izzy? Oh, self-belief. I don't have, I don't doubt myself. I'm not going to sit here and point a finger at myself and say I'm not capable or I'm not worthy or anything like that. That's, uh, that's asinine. That's, that's crazy. That's retarded. No, that's uh, going backwards. No, I'm only trying to shoot up. I'm trying to go up. I'm trying to ascend higher and higher, trying to develop myself into the best version of myself so that, um, Next time, keep it short and sweet, man. Keep it short and sweet. So, um, anyway, uh, that's just it, you know? Uh, I do my thing, and I'm un unaffected by any of the bullshit people say or do around me. Unless they get in front of me, then we can start engaging. And uh, Saturday night, I'm gonna have some bullshit in front of me I'm gonna be able to deal with. And uh, thank you for Israel. Uh, you've gone through a lot in the past year. Where are your confidence levels at for this fight? Very high. Um, before the start of this camp, Eugene said the last camp was great. How can I top it? I felt like I did that. And I've been hearing all these, been talking about easy work, easy work. Who was the last person you made look easy? Who was the last person you made look easy? Exactly. It doesn't matter who I've No, made you made no one look easy. I've made many people look easy time easy. and time and time again. The goal is to and make guess you what? Look easy. You're next. Don't I'm going to make you easy work. You're going to be easy. I'm going to make you look easy. And I do have a question for Sean as well. Sean, how difficult is it to prepare for a fight in Las Vegas with um, so much temptation around? You know, there's gambling, there's ladies that smells of weed. How hard is it for you this week? Well, if you know me, you would know that I don't leave my house because you see the way these people act in the crowd? If I had to be around these fucking people in public, I would probably get a murder charge. So I don't drink, I don't leave my house, especially that guy clamping right there. That fucking guy's like, 
Yeah, I bet you drive a big lifted truck. Your dick's about this big. Let's go. Let's go. But no, man, I, I like, you know, you know, man, I, I don't leave my house much. I'm a fan of bi women, you know. I like guns. I like motorcycles. I just, I have a simple life. I'm a simple man. Life's good in Vegas. I like it. Question for Max. Max, uh, I think a lot of people are surprised that you're bringing so much heat up here at the press conference. Did anything happen? What is what just brought it on this what, time? Why are you mad for? I told you. I told you guys. I told you. Dude, you. UFC been trying to ice my ass, putting me in cold places to fight. We back here, Ninth Island. The volcano is coming. Get ready, July second, brother. Be ready. I'll be, be ready, ready, brother. I'll be ready. Be ready. Hey, Thank you. I know you're trying to get me. You're a cool dude. I'm gonna I'm I'm let it pass. You're all right, brother. Come on, mate. You know you're good. We all good, brother. You know you love me. I love always, bro. Question for Sean Strickland. Sean, you got quite the lineup up there with you. Who's the best striker on stage? I mean, I would say no. me, but I mean, that man was the one that slept that man. So, you know, next to me, next to me, probably Alex. I mean, what was it like? 2-0 against Izzy? Izzy, what was it? 2-0? Did you watch the whole fight? No, I don't watch like Exactly, fight. do your fucking job next time. Oh. oh man, I made the champion mad with his fucking frosted tips and his gay little watch. Oh no! <laughs> I'm just joking, hey, Izzy is a savage, bro. Hey, watch out. Down. Hey, what happened before we walked on stage? Hey, hey, I hey. I smacked you on the ass like my bitch. Bro, bro, your, bro, your porn hub is just filled with facts. cartoons, bro. No man that beats off the cartoons is gonna beat me. Bro, Calm trust down. me. If Calm you ever, down. I can tell you what. If you win this fight, when we fight, I knock you out. I'm going to do a TikTok dance over your grave. Oh, fuck it. Look at this. Grown-ass man on fucking TikTok. Maybe that's the problem, bro. And the you don't fuck want this guy as a champion. Do something about you it. You don't want this guy as a do champion. Do something about it then. Bro, any Do day. something about bro, it. Bro, I will walk outside with you right now. Right now. You want to get my number? Step. Come on. Um, Bro, I will walk. right there, I smacked you on your ass. The fuck you do? Listen, bro, you're gonna break a fucking nail. Calm down. I'll break your Calm fucking down. face. I'll Calm break your fucking fuck. face. Hey, I'll Alex, break my nail in your get face. This man, Alex, get this. Hey, man, you better focus on your guy. He's gonna fuck you up, too. Yeah, the way he fucking slept your ass. Nah, but uh, is he? Nah, but no, no. Is he? He's a solid guy. He's a good guy. I don't judge his cartoon porn addiction. I'm not gonna hey, be that guy. Anti. Get I don't judge it. his it's TikTok. It's yeah, it's called hentai. Same, 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 same. Hey, I like, I'm a grown I, I like ass Sean. man, all right? Call me, I'm not watching cartoons. I like my I never wanted. And guess what? Like I said, focus on this guy. He's a tough opponent, and you focus on him as well. They've been asked more about me this whole fucking fight camp than each other. So you need to focus on the work you're doing, because trust me, he will sleep you. Hey, Izzy, why don't you tell me what not to do? <laughs> tell me what not to do, Izzy. What, what should I do? Take a fucking nap? <laughs> Izzy. They're making A. Obviously now this is starting. How do you stay focused on the job you already have on Saturday taking on the top contender? White noise. It's all white noise. Like, all I have to focus on is Jared Cannonier. If I don't get through him, all my plans go out the window. So I'm focused on Jared completely. This is all fun to put on a show for you guys. That's it. This question for Max Holloway. Max, you've gone 10 rounds with Alex Volkanovski. And this time around, you're predicting that the fight isn't going to go past three rounds. What is the main difference in this fight from your previous two? You guys get to find out live on pay-per-view. Do not miss it. Saturday night, right here in this arena, you guys are all going to find out the same exact time. And for the Sugar Show, Sean, a lot of people are saying that Pedro Munoz is a tough test for you. What do you think a win over him does for you in this band and weight division? Yeah, a win over Pedro, you know, gets me closer to the title. That's, that's the goal. I want to be the champion, so a win over Pedro gets me closer to the title. Question for Sean Strickland. Oh, you guys got to call. Who is that? Is that the, that's the slow. All right, let's go. Let's go. You've been vocal about Izzy and Gyno and steroids over the past few months, but yesterday he got his Letterman jacket, 50 pass tests from USADA. What do you make of his achievement? You no, know, man, I mean... I'll give the guy credit. The guy's a champion, man. He did have one bitch shitty. I don't know what that was all about. I'm not calling the man a liar. You don't see a three man Three million bro. dollars, anybody. I know you ain't got that in the bank. Bro, I don't got three million dollars. Find a way. Bank. Somebody please will split it. Nah, man, but real talk to you. I don't, I don't think Izzy does steroids. I just like to make fun of him, you know? Like, 
A lot of this shit is not true. Like, you know, like maybe the steroids aren't true, but the jerking off the cartoons is true. So it's like... <laughs> and that's facts. Oh, this guy, bro. This guy. All right, All right question, question for the champion, Volkanovski. After your last victory against Korean Zombie, you talked about going up to 155. So if you get through Max Holloway, is the next time you're going to fight at 155 pounds for the title? Man, that's a... Look... I've got a job to do Saturday night, I'm going to go do it, but yeah, man, I'm definitely eyeing off uh, that division. I want to hold two belts. I've got goals. You know, I, I always work. I always uh, want to level up. Yeah, I want to level up all new challenges. I've got a challenge Saturday, but I'm going to pass it again, do work, and that's it. And then I'm going to call for that we're double chance. Find out. Status. We're going to find out Saturday night. Last question. Brian Barberina, no one's talking about you, so we're going to bring it up right here. You got a war against the former welterweight champion, Ruthless Robbie Lawler. Why is this going to be the fight of the night? And everyone should be starring this fight come Saturday evening. Everybody knows why this is fight of the night. Look how we fight. We fucking bring it every goddamn time. Let's go. Uh, this question is for Volkanovski and Holloway. After two great fights, what do you guys most respect about each other as opponents? Let's go, Max! What? Hey, you're not going to answer it? This question is for Volkanovski and Holloway. After two great fights, what do you guys most respect about each other as opponents? Look, man, look, I'll, I'll, I'll answer that question. Look, I'm going to be st straight up. He's getting another chance because he was being stubborn and made sure no one else got that number one spot. So he gets, a, he gets a shot. He did exactly what I would do if I was in the same position. So he's going to have my respect for that. But that's it. It's just a third chance and he ain't going to get it. And we're about to find out Saturday night. The only thing I respect about him is his cooking show. He looks like he's all right cook. Max Holloway. Because Shout out to my YouTube channel then. You're cooking YouTube. with Volk. Make sure you tune in. Alexander Volkanovsky. Yes, sir. Make sure you tune in. You want to see some real content. Facebook gaming, baby. Facebook gaming backslash Max Holloway official. I'll be whooping asses in Apex Legends. Max, with two future Hall of Famers in this rivalry, this is looked at as a historic trilogy. Win or lose, is this rivalry over Saturday night? Look, we get to find out Saturday night. We get to find out Saturday night. My name is Dana White. I don't meet up with them on Tuesdays and Matchmaker Tuesdays or whatever. I'm a fighter. I focus on him, and that's all we do. Jared Cannonier. All week, Izzy has been pretty provocative, saying he's going to fuck you up. He's going to kill you. Is it better for your game if you got an Izzy chasing a knockout in front of you? Um, <laughs> I don't think that is of consequence. We're going to get in there and fight. I don't, again, that's extra, extra shit to think about when it comes to fighting. I train to incapacitate my opponent. Everything else is of no consequence to me. Izzy, do you have a preference who wins between Strickland and Pedata? No, they're both big money fights. This guy talks a lot, and this guy's already beaten me twice in kickboxing. And funny thing is, I asked you guys the press at the press conference, who's actually watched the fight? Five people in a room full of 25 put their hands up, and two were my managers, so only three reporters have watched the fight. Trust me, he knows I put him on skates last time. And this time, when I put you on skates, I'm going to leave you frozen like Elsa. Thank you. John Hennick, the greatest to ever do it. Thank you. Yo. Question for uh, Sugar Sean. All the happy dads are in the building. The senders are in the building. Oh. Sean fans are in the building. I talked with you earlier in the day. I said, hey, we need to hammer Sugar Sean on the under one and a half. Can we lock that in? Hey, it'd be silly for me to not think me versus Pedro could go 15 minutes. I'm going to put his lights out. That's the plan. But I'm also ready to go for 15. I can, you know, I can punch him for 15. It depends how fast he wanted to get knocked out. And a uh, question for Max Holloway. Max, I was backstage with Volk and Izzy, and they said, look, it started last weekend with Black Jag, Carlos Olberg. It's going to be a city kickboxing sweep this weekend. What do you think about that? They can believe whatever they believe. We're about to find out Saturday, bro. We're days away. I get to be in this arena. I'm going to feel this energy. He's going to feel the heat. We're going to find out. Let's go. This one for Alexander Volkanovsky. The trash talk from Max Holloway today. I've got to ask, were you expecting this and what do you make of it? 
Ah, oh, man, look, we, we know he's a chill dude. He's just trying to get in my head. It's all good. I'll let it slide, but hey. Oh, I'm not trying to get in that we, head we, if we I dance, was. It would be it. super easy. You see the size of that thing? What was it? I missed that. I missed that. What was that? Slurring words. If I was trying to get in your head, you see the size of that thing? I would get in it. <laughs> That's all right, yeah, mate. Relax, brother. Relax. I know you... Why, you bad weight cut or something? Why are you so mad? Bad weight cut. Bad weight okay. cut. Uh, hey, and it I always has a bad weight cut, but bad wake up. he always turns up, so I'll be ready. All right, we got to stop it down there, folks. Thank you all for your questions, for your energy.